Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys my top five favorite Cydia tweaks for the iPad. Alright, now before I get started, I just wanted to say that all of these tweaks are available for a fee inside of Cydia just through the standard repos that you get by default once you jailbreak. Now I will display the name and price of each tweak in order as I go over them. And first up we have Quasar, which is sort of a multitasking system for the iPad. Now this works extremely well, however this can get somewhat annoying because there's actually really no way to activate this without opening an application. So every time you open an application, it opens it in this window, and you can of course rearrange things by dragging down below on the bar and you can also resize things now I'm going to go over the settings for quasar just by going inside of the settings application and like I said this can get annoying because as you can see I actually brought this up in portrait mode and now I can't actually get towards the bottom bar but let me just go ahead and flip this around really quick and we'll go into the settings all right there we go now that I corrected the issue I'm just going to make quasar full screen and as you can see we have a limited amount of options first of all we can either enable or disable the tweak you can actually set it to lock the screen boundaries so you don't run into additional errors when trying to use this tweak and you actually have the ability to touch the background to quit out of it instead of pressing the home button so what you'll notice here when I actually press the home button the first time you do get your overall view of all the different windows that are open and then from there you can simply touch the background to quit out of it however while quasar has its shortcomings and it can certainly be awkward it's definitely great if you're trying to accomplish multiple things at the same time so what you'll notice here when I open up Safari is I can actually navigate through Safari while actually doing something else simultaneously so let me let this load up and then I can bring up the settings application here and change different things as you can see I just toggled that option off and like I said you can resize things to help make it less awkward when actually trying to use multiple applications simultaneously all right now next up we have a tweet called mountain center. This basically replaces the standard notification center with an OSX mountain line style notification center. So instead of having that standard small iPad notification center window in the middle, we do get one that's more similar to what you'll find on OSX mountain line or 10.8. So let me just go ahead and bring it up here with the three finger gesture. And there is a free alternative to this. And I'll show you that in just a second. However, this one does give you more options and you're less likely to actually activate it when doing something such as playing a game because you can set it to a three finger instead of a two finger gesture which is just what the free one is also you can go ahead and bring it up on both sides or you can set a specific side to actually bring it up so let me go ahead and go into the settings app and show you exactly what I'm talking about all right so as you can see now we're inside of the mountain center portion of the settings application first of all we have the option to enable it and then we can set what actually activates it so you can set it all the way up to five fingers so let's go ahead and do that right now this can be somewhat more difficult however it just depends on whether or not you want to make it so you are less likely to activate it when just doing normal tasks so let's go ahead and close out of it now and go over the other settings now you have the option to increase or decrease the sensitivity right now I just have it set to high but of course you have the option to set it to either lower medium as well so that way it stretches across the entire portion of the screen depending on whether or not you are in portrait or landscape however the next tweak we're actually going to go over overrides that setting and I'll get into that in just a second also as a free alternative to mountain center you can actually install mountain lion center for iPad this is similar to mountain center however as I mentioned there are no settings to configure it simply pops up on the right side of the screen and you activate it by swiping with two fingers so it's definitely possible that you will accidentally activate it more often all right next up we have notepad which is actually spelled not iPad so its name is somewhat misleading I definitely think it needs to be changed but I definitely think it is a great tweak and it really complements mountain center so let me just go ahead and give you guys a test of notepad by sending a simple test notification all right, now as you can see a notification did just pop up here in the upper right hand corner with a really nice animation and it does look really sharp and really crisp so let me just go ahead and bring up settings again to actually show you guys what you can configure for notepad and let's go ahead and look at some of the test notifications so bringing up the settings here you have a ton of different options I'm not going to go into everything however you can change how it looks and somewhat how it behaves and I'm just going to give you guys a really quick example by changing the theme 
theme and also changing the colors. All right, and one other thing too, instead of having the translation animation, I'm going to change it to the fade animation. And now I'm just going to send another test notification to the iPad. All right, so the notification did pop up here. I definitely think it looked better before. However, it definitely is customizable to your preference. I'm just going to change it around one last time to show you guys another option. All right, and there we go. I did make the changes. I'm just going to send the notification this time just by clicking on the notepad icon that it puts on the springboard. All right, and as you can see, that is another example of something you can do with this tweak to actually replace the stock notifications. Like I said, there are a ton of different options to actually customize it and configure it to your liking. All right, now next up, we have something called Dashboard X. And this is a really simple tweak that enables you to have widgets on your springboard. Now, this does work with specific Dashboard X add-ons that you can get inside of Cydia. And it also works with Notification Center add-ons. So if you guys haven't seen my video for my top five Notification Center tweaks, then just be sure to check that out. I'll have an annotation on the screen now. So what you actually do to work this tweak is just tap and hold anywhere. So you don't have to tap and hold on an icon once you have this tweak installed. And then simply tap and hold again in a blank spot. And it does bring up this little dialog box here. I'm just going to go ahead and check NC settings. And then from there, I'm just going to add the widget. You do have some toggles, which actually enables you to interact with the widget, which can be helpful if you don't want to accidentally change settings for the widget. So let me just go ahead and add this right now. And then I'm going to move it into the correct position. And that looks good for now. I'm just going to press the home button to exit out of that. So now we can interact with NC settings straight on the springboard instead of actually opening up notification center. So let me just go ahead and give you guys a quick example of this, we can change the brightness directly from this widget here on the springboard. And we do have access to all of the other toggles that you get inside of NC settings. And if we were to actually go inside of the dashboard X portion of the settings application, we do get a couple of options, nothing really too robust. It just changes how you actually interact with the widgets and how you place them. All right, now the fifth and final tweak for this video is full screen for Safari. Now let's say I'm over here on best tech info, and I want to actually enable full screen mode, all I have to do is perform a simple gesture or action that I have previously set up inside of the settings application. And now it is inside of full screen mode. And as you can see, the entire top bar has vanished. This does enhance your viewing experience, but you can easily bring it back simply by performing the same action again. Now this tweak is very in depth. I'm not going to go over all of the settings, but you can also set it to perform different actions simply by swiping in a certain direction or by actually using a different combination of swipes on the screen. So as you can see, if I'm down here more towards the bottom and I use two fingers to scroll up, then it will actually scroll up to the top of the page. Like I said, this is all configurable via the settings application. So I'm here inside of the full screen for Safari portion of the settings app. And there are a ton of different options and settings you can set for this tweak. So I highly recommend all of the tweaks that I have gone over in this video. Of course, if it helped you out and if you like the tweaks, be sure to rate this video up and leave your comments down below in the comments section. Section. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, be notified every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.